Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. It is I, God Empress Jesse Milestone, and this is Meant to Offend. So if you're offended, good. It's been a minute since I've done one of these, and I'm very, very excited to be back on the wagon offending people. Uh, the problem with today's video, of course, is that the people, the group of people that I'm offending are the type of people that just walk around being offended by everything all the time forever. Uh, and will probably never watch this video, so it's on you guys to make sure that you're putting it in their face, uh, definitely find people who need to see this and show it to them. Uh, is this video, is this video inspired by anything in particular you ask? Why yes, yes it is. Uh, in case you're not on Twitter, yesterday uh, some a-hole decided to go after our very own Stephanie Kenobi uh, because she laughed at a joke made about Ray's vagina. He was like, I will shame you for this. And I was like, what? That's wrong. Uh, first of all, Ray is a fictional character. So that's, how just screwed up is that? You have somebody now who is out there championing for a fictional vagina by shaming and talking down to and being a general dick to actual women. Which brings me to the point that I want to make here, which is male feminists, just die. You're all doing it wrong. You all need to die. Um... We don't, like, nobody, nobody wants you, first of all. Actually, nobody, like, the only, okay, uh, people who are not on board with, like, yay, feminism, don't want you because you're stupid and you sound stupid and you sound ignorant, and that's part of the reason why people who are women and a lot of people who are actual feminists or, like, want equality for genders and whatnot also don't like you because you still sound ignorant and you act like an a-hole, and actually, in your actions and your activities are detracting power from women more so than anything else. Typical, right, typical... Jerk off behavior is, oh, oh, well, here's the new social movement about empowering women. Let me be a powerful part of it. Do you see how already hypocritical that is? You're trying to spin a narrative about empowering women by trying to, trying to make yourself an integral and powerful and important part of that movement. I'm sorry, if you were actually invested in those things, you would step off and understand that this is not about you. This is not your fight. This is not your thing. This goes into the whole greater thing about everyone wanting to be oppressed. Everyone needed to be part of some oppressed group so they can speak for every other oppressed group. And guess what? You can't. It's not how it works. It doesn't matter what group you are or not a part of. First of all, you don't speak for every single member of that group, even if you are right uh, a part of the group that you're, that you're championing for. Second of all, it doesn't give you the right to speak for any other group. Just because I am a woman doesn't mean I understand what it's like to be a black woman or a Hispanic woman, or a gay woman, or any of these other things. I just, I, we all have our own fucking journeys, and that's the thing is like, it doesn't even matter. Uh, again, I don't speak for all of womankind. This guy doesn't speak for all of mankind. Male feminists don't speak for anybody. The only people who like you, right, male feminists, are weak, pathetic women who, women who think that they're empowered or want to be empowered, so they really, really like that a strong man gets to do the talking for them, while they sit back and go, uh-huh, yeah, I'm too afraid of confrontation and too insecure to stand up for myself. Yeah, not how this works. It's great. What a wonderful, beautiful feminist movement we've created where all the men do the talking and the work and speak for all the women, while the women go, yeah, what he said. Good job, ladies, really taking that power back. As you can see, I have some problems with this. Now, I, I don't know where you guys all land on the spectrum. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me uh, as long as you're just not, not getting in my way. I do believe that there has been, uh, I mean, look, with dec centuries, centuries of, of Im an imbalance in gender roles in society. For the most part, over those centuries, women have gotten the shitty end of the stick. Yes, men get shitty ends of the stick sometimes now. Yes, men are finally starting to realize, like, oh, shit, this stuff, the stuff that women want sucks and is terrible. Okay, yes, it's true. Some of the things that feminists want today are really, really shitty. That can also, at the same time, be a bit of a wake-up call to be like, yeah, these shitty things have been happening to us for centuries. So... Both sides need more empathy. Both sides need more compassion. Both sides need to understand that this is not about getting revenge or punishing people or anything like that. And both sides need to reject male feminists because they're fucking stupid. I'm not supposed to be swearing this much. I'm sorry. Um, anyway. So yes, the thing is, right, what, what, do, what do they do? What do male feminists do? Again, they try to make this stupid, this thing, this movement that is not about them, about themselves. Um, and, and they act like this is, you know what drives me up a freaking wall? Is when I am talking to a male feminist and uh, I am not as outraged as they are about something, and they're like, I'm outraged. How can you not be outraged? I'm so outraged. Like, no, you're not. You're, you're fucking not. Like, maybe you're bothered by it. Maybe you think it's shitty and stupid, and that's great, but you don't live it. You don't experience it. You don't have the depth of appreciation for these things that happen when they don't happen to you. You can't sit there and be like, I get it. I know what it's like. I know what your oppression feels like, and it makes me so angry, because you don't know. 
God, most male feminists are white men too. So it's like, you're literally the people who have had it categorically, historically have had it the easiest. And you're the one sitting here being like, I don't know what it feels like to be a person. Which like every single person, every single SJW who's a white man needs to kill themselves because their entire narrative is that they are intrinsically the problem. And it doesn't matter how good of a white guy you are. You have white guilt and all this stuff and you're a bad guy. So kill yourself. Stop trying to be a major voice in your movement when you have pinned yourself as the enemy. Get over your hypocrisy and kill yourself. Anyway, um, yeah, so you, problematic behavior. Anyway, um, I'd love to hear from you guys, right? I'm sure you have experienced these terrible white feminists, white, uh, male feminists, white feminists, male feminists as well, right? I want to hear what you, what is, the, what is the worst thing you have seen or heard a male feminist do? What is the absolute worst thing? And I'll tell you, for me, the absolute worst thing uh, for a male feminist to do ever, just ever at all, and the thing that automatically makes them wrong, the second a male feminist is talking to a woman, and, for, and, and tells her that her opinion on femininity and how to, what, what a woman should do or be is wrong. The second he does that, the second he tells a woman, no matter what it is, she could be like, a woman's place is to stay in the house and have 5,000 kids and let her husband beat her every night. And if that's her opinion, great! <laughs> you, as man, have absolutely no recourse to tell her otherwise. Like, that's, you don't get to do that. If that's the life she wants to live, I mean, I'm a little bit concerned about the getting beaten thing, but like... A woman who's like, a woman's place is to be at home and raise a family and that's all I want in life. Great. As long as she's, and she can go around and tell that to the world. As long as she's not trying to force other people into doing that. Likewise, vice versa. This is a huge problem with the feminist movement is women having, not having respect for stay at home moms. I was raised by a stay at home mom. She gave up a lot and she sacrificed a lot in order to raise her children. And I am proud of her and I could not be more proud of her. And feminists can eat their own, I'm trying to be more, less graphic. Feminists can chew their hands off until they bleed to death out of their wrist holes uh, if they want to say anything bad about my mom and the choices that she made in her life. Any woman who decides that's what she wants, she wants to be home with her kids and make a home, that is fine with me, right? And no one else has, has any recourse to say anything bad to her the same way that, you know, a woman who decides that she wants to have a career and she doesn't want to raise a family should not be harassed or harassed for that decision either. And any man, any man who thinks they have the right to tell a woman what she should or should not believe about womanhood and about feminism should go throw themselves off a cliff onto a pile of thorny spikes that are covered in the slowest killing, most painfully murdering poison that is out there. Because no, the second a man decides to tell a woman what feminism is, he is wrong. He is just wrong. It doesn't matter what his viewpoints are or how many over-feminist ladies agree with him. He's wrong. That's the whole point is you don't get to tell a woman what is right or wrong for a woman because like the whole thing, that's what drives the hypocrisy. Just drives me up a freaking wall. Your whole point as a male feminist is, oh, we shouldn't be telling women what to do with their lives and do with their bodies. So the second you do that to a woman just because she doesn't believe the things that you do, you're wrong. I don't know how many more times I can say that or how, many more, how much more clearly I can make that point, right? You're not as outraged as, as women are because you don't live through the crap that they live through. You're not dealing with the same things that people who aren't you are dealing with. If you want to be helpful to women that you feel are oppressed and all of that stuff, find out what they want from you. Don't tell them how they're supposed to be living their lives. Don't do the things that you think they should be doing. Tell them to do the things you think they should be doing. Find out what they want from you. Because guess what? This is not your movement. You are not a part of this. You're a supporting element should people allow you to be. So get off your goddamn high horse and stop acting like this is your issue. Joel. So, that's what I gotta say about the male feminists. If you're offended, good! Again, it is unlikely that a lot of male feminists will just elect to watch this video. So please uh, get onto Twitter, get onto Facebook, find those male feminists spewing garbage in and around your neighborhoods. And by neighborhoods, I mean virtual neighborhoods or real neighborhoods, whatever. Go show those people on the street. I don't care. Um, find the male feminists who are causing problems uh, in your lives and show them this video. Maybe it'll be the slap in the face and the wake up call they need because they're not gonna hear it any other way. So if you know anybody who needs to see this video, also if there are women, if there are women in your life who love these like male feminist champions and surround themselves with these like male feminist soy boys, show them this video too. Let them, tell them to grow the F up, grow a pair, stand up for yourself, have your own movement. You don't, if, you, if you're so in, invested in, women are better than men and we don't need them, stop using them, Jesus. Anyway, that's all. Uh, New Angle County Comic Con is in less than a month. It's October 20th in uh, Fremont, someplace in Michigan. Uh, look it up, New Ago, N-E-W-A-Y-G-O. 
County Comic Con. Uh, I will be there as a guest, as will Ivan Ortega. We'll be fighting with lightsabers. We'll be having a panel. It'll be great fun. Be there. Or don't, but mostly be there. And uh, check out my Patreon, because for the next week or so, I'm going to be posting a lot of fun stuff from the Australia trip that will not be available for regular viewership. I uh, will hopefully offend you more again soon. <laughs>